Hello and welcome to my project Pocket Manager, which is a useful JavaFX application for managing XML files, which are consist of satellite channels information. So basically, I am doing further implementation of my file system Volca, and now um, my first test run was pretty successful and actually let me, let me show you my JUnit and it, it ran pretty successful well I need to I need to refactor my get directories list method and what I need to do uh, actually, the goal is to extract the list of directories to the given path. And how I will do about this? Well, let me just, I think, let me just delete this stuff. Yep. Expected the list. Um, I will say current current better to say directory directory list. Now I need some sort of access to the given directory, and Java have very good implementation of accessing of disk directories so let me just think about file new file new file and through the new file I will access the given path I need to implement I mean to import the file import okay now now I need to think about and file directory I would say directory and what I need to do I need to go through all of the I mean, I'm getting into the given directory and extracting all of the directories. So I do it like this. So basically, what kind of methods I can use? Directory, let me just quickly look it. Because I'm not so familiar with this. Uh, class. I need to something to list. List. Okay, maybe. Let us in uh, filter, filter, file filter, return an array of abstract. Okay, I think the best one it, it is the best solution. So I think, let me just think, so I need to have an array, not a problem at all, result, dear, and assign it, and I need to iterate over it. 
and I am looking for a directories only. File, uh, file object, and so I'm just need to iterate over this array, and if I need to to actually able to create a list of directories, so if my file object is directory and if it is true then I just need to be able to add to my directory list And let me just think about get pair. Uh, let me just look at the getters. Get get name and return my directory list. And it should work. So I was basically in the blue phase, in the refactoring phase of TDD. Now I need to pass my test. So and now you see, I need to so. It's not in the sorted order. Okay, and I I expect to have a sorted sorted order. Hmm. Things I think it is interesting problem. But do I need to have exactly the same order? Um Actually, I don't think this is plausible. I mean, the, this is what actually it looks like. So when I execute dir command, from 0 to, to 9, but 10 is a place at the third, third place. So let me just adjust adjust this to my test let me go and uh, think I need to think ah, okay so I have here the problem by when I creating my mock it need to go up to 10 go up to 10 if is equal 3 else now I need to refactor my test okay and let me just think that right yeah and here I need to add actually dear plus uh, let me do it like this zero one oh it should be two sorry it should be two because the index of the the array list it starts from zero so the third position have an index of two and now it should probably 
be successful. Dear uh, one, dear one. Wait a second. Okay, so dear zero, dear one, dear ten. Ah, now I understand. This is a mistake in my mistake in my test. So I need to add tier two. Yep, I need to add tier two after tier ten. Let me just let me just readjust it. This is kind of special case. Now let me run it again. And it should pass. Yes. So I have passing test case. Yeah. And here I need to make it like I don't know. Refactor extract method. Some natural natural. Order of years. Some people say it's not so good, but in my case it works pretty well. Yep, and I have passing passing test. So now I'm actually reading the contents of directories and the next part the next part will be to get the files in the given directories and actually let me just think I need to get files. So I think I need to write another test. I need to, to write another test. Test. Testing if files can be print. And it is uh, the same, the same data structure. Array list, string, expected, expected. Actually, can I can copy just just this line and call it file list, file, files, files list. And what I need to to get. Like I don't know. I need to use uh, a loop. Let me. This uh, files which I have here. I need to copy them. Okay. So next move. Next move, I need to uh, populate my stuff. Prepare my expected files list. And 
how much uh, do I have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 files. And I think it is will be like it will be like the same kind of situation probably. Yeah, ten and two. No, it's different one. So let me just create the stuff. So once again, I have here loop. Uh, for array which goes to 10 and here I basically it is have the same structure uh, if let me just think about so at position one if e equals one I add I add my list so I'm just creating mock-up mock-up object uh, ten and two So it will be like ten, and then I need to include two, I need to include two, and else it will look like following. Add, then I have here plus plus and here I just need to put in I plus and I have I will have this is kind of a list. So let me just quickly run it and I need my assert equals actual file list. Yeah, it was okay. Um, so I passing through one directory and get hold of a contents of the directory, and I have my expected file list and actual file list files failed and need to put it right like this yeah so here i have my mocking object directory attest and it kind of looks familiar with my other stuff maybe maybe i refactor it later so let's just write here file file files list files and it should fail but let me do some uh, quick quick check this is out i want to make sure that my expected file list is in natural order now i can save it now i can run it run it during the test so test one test ten test two uh two times wait a second why it adds zero one 
Ah, okay, now now I got small bug in my test. Now I need to fix it. So basically, I don't need this. When I do it like this, um, now it should probably look better. Test 0, test 10, test 2. Yeah, this is what exactly I, I expect. Test 1, test 10, test 2, and, and until 9. Test 1, uh, test 0, test 10. Test 1. Uh, ah, okay, so now. I think I need to start with a 1. And. Do I have test 0? No. Okay, so now it should better. It should be better. Uh, okay, now let me just do it like so the case where I have zeros, and now I need to put it like additional condition e not equals zero. It look kind of ugly, I must say, um, but it will be better. Test 10. Why it does not work? If zero does not equals wait a second. Not equals zero. It should be ah, it should be greater than zero. Definitely. Only then it can be added. Test two, and then I have a problem because greater than zero. Why it does not work? I need to make a mockup object first. Test one. So, yeah, it's kind of a kind of a simple stuff, but still. This sometimes happens even to me. Um, okay, so E is zero at the beginning. Then I add. Okay, now I get it. I don't need this. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Let me just do it. This kind of bugs me sometimes. Okay, now I have appropriate solution. Test 1, test 10, test 2, test 3, until 9. Yeah, and this is what I need to actually to have. 1, 10, and until 9. 1, 10, and then up to 9. Yeah. So now I have proper a proper solution and well I don't like that it's such large so big extract refactor extract method uh, create mock file list yeah it's actually initializing I can't later rename it So now, when I'm 
run this test. This is a mockup object. Test one, test ten, and such on. Yeah. So now I can actually uncomment this line and work with the actual stuff. So get file list. Wait a moment. Get file list. Create method get file list. So now I can actually I have actually a failing test. Yeah, you see, I getting the null. Then and so on. So what is solution? Solution is pretty simple. I need to write here. I won't do the same stuff like in here. I just need to. Well, I creating here not a directory list. I creating here file list file list and in this case my file so yeah I have here same disk input almost the same structure but in one case I get only directory list and in the second stuff I get only file list and I think it is okay from my point of view for the moment so file file in sorry directory new file object disk input maybe Disk input for for file list. Disk input for directory list. Yeah, I think I, I would like to to use better naming system uh, file result file array and here I need to make sure that my directory gets all list files and here I need to iterate over my File object. Uh, file file object, which is then result files. Yes, and result files. And here I can actually check if file is file and then add it to my list. And file it is actually file object. And here I need to add to my file list. Pretty, pretty simple and what I'm adding file object get name yeah
and I need to actually return the result return file object no I mean file list file list now should now let's just verify through our test and you see testing if files can be print pass so I have both situations covered I I can print I can print as a file list and the directory the directory which uh, consists in the given path pretty cool let me just run all of the tests output ah it's from the debug message where I have it where I put it system out print LM. yeah it, I think it is here I don't, no, I don't need it here and I can run all of my tests on all test path pass passing through so I can get the directory list and I can get file file list to the given directory cool and yeah so next next type of move will be to get an attributes testing if file list can be print this actually need to rename re 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 the tests so here I'm getting the file if testing if the directories uh, can be can be can be outputted as list outputted output can be outputted as a list I think it is always good to make sure that your methods are meaningful Me names of the methods are meaningful now I have a situation, all of my stuff works pretty well. And yeah, this is this is how it goes. So I can list my files, list my folders, and now I need to mix up two stuff. I need to mix two things. I need to mix my folder folder names and file names and how I can actually do that <laughs> and remember I need to get hold of an attributes ah I need to get hold of uh, attributes was given so actually Three, three stuff I need to uh, folder names folder names file names and uh, last modified attribute in 
let me think about let me think about okay so after giving after giving some thinking about how to solve this problem i think for my case it can be solved like following um let me just quickly look at some example Uh, actually not this walk file so this actually not interested uh, not interesting what is interesting how to get get property yeah what well, this is what I need uh, last modified this kind of stuff is interesting modified time for the given URL and I will store this to the list my let me just think about the terms of my test case uh, the next the next test case okay now I have my test And here I'm testing if uh, actually testing uh, getting testing of so in this test case I need to get uh, a result for for the directory which I give to the which I get which I get from my uh, program let's just test it okay so testing last modified last modified attribute for Directories, 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 and so I think my method, which I need to call from the Volca project, Volca object, it should get um, attributes independently for any given file list and directory list. And this is, I think, the best solution to approach this problem. And so, in this case, my assertion will be assert not null. That means I do not verify the order and the values. I'm just making sure that I'm getting not null. Because I have written a more general, general approach. So, and actually, do I need to write here some stuff? Yeah, I need to initialize it. A released string expected file expected file list. And here I have result of directories last modified result of directory directories last modified list last modified list new array list string and now I just need to pass it pass it through okay now I initialize it and I need to get these values from the FS Walker FS Walker and here I just write get 
attributes get attributes last modified last last modified get get uh, get last modified attributes and it should not matter what for what kind of so basically ah okay now now i need first to I need to initialize my dear list. I almost forgot it. I think this is the way. So I'm getting my uh, dear list, and what I passing through. path to the directory and the name of actual dear list dear list and then I evaluate actually I need to Actually, I need to make sure that is, uh, I think, get I don't need to write here anything. Yeah. So basically, I'm passing the path and I'm passing what actually, which actually dears you should look up because I expect from my method that it does not search for the directories. It gets the path to the directory, which consists of uh, folders, and he gets uh, um, this as a second uh, parameter or argument. It gets then um, the path. I mean the list of the directories, which are consist in this given directory. And let's just try it out. So let me just create this method. Create method. So here is a path. Path to directory. And the second parameter will be like Contents, contents of directory. It can be files, it can be directories, doesn't matter. It can, so I said earlier that this method should be a general one. And it returns the dates for the given, given type of things. Let me just quickly look it up how I can solve and just need to copy this method and takes a while to be adjusted to the kind of way alright so so we creating a list of attributes which consist of uh, dates for the given directory or file list. Simple like that. And how I should deal about? How should I deal about? Uh, 
test last modified for attributes for directories. Yeah. And my thing about so I have my path to directory, path to directory, and actual directory list. Okay, now I need to initialize my list array list string add attribute as last list new array list string and simple like that pretty simple and now I need to get the path so path path and what I need to write here path 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 point get and I need to write here I don't need it's al already given here okay and next next stuff which need to be done uh, at Wait a second. Uh, path, path, get path. Ah, okay, my mistake. I need to add this import basically like this uh, it's always good to have examples now now I can actually do following So ah now I, I now I think I, I get it. Um, it will be kind of interesting. So I need to iterate over, and anyhow I need to iterate over for. Iterate over. No, I need uh, another iteration. It's actually for each. Okay, so I need to iterate our contents of directory and I think. I just I hope it works pretty well. I need to path to directory will be like C C temp C temp C temp test C test and here I need just to include Uh, path to directory uh, string contents dear um, I will say not dear name item item name because uh, I want to keep it in, in general terms contents of directory it can have contents of files it had 
can ha consist of a, uh, I will say basically of file system fs. Let me just do it like general file system of file system, and then path to directory. Oh, it was okay. Path, path to directory. It was okay. Path to directory and plus item name. I think. And I need to add two slashes. Okay, so now I have here this stuff. So I'm getting the path. Getting the path to the file or directory depends on the It depends on stuff which I have to work. And now, then I need to get attributes. Basic file attribute view. And then I need to, to read attributes. So this is what I need to do, and here I have my stuff, here files, Google, I need to Java, no, no file, I think, yeah, take some no, file files, yeah, so here, uh, Get file attribute view. Path, uh, path. It is a path to the file. I hope. Yeah. So now I have it completely, and now I need to access. I need to read all attributes. I'm reading all of attributes and what and I think I will surround this try and catch and here I just need to make sure basic file attributes and Read all read attributes and what I need. Yeah, take some a while. Format. So here I'm actually getting the last modified. And I need to figure it out. What is the TF? Date format. Ah, okay, so I'm getting. Wait a second. Let me do it outside. It takes oh, uh, some time. So, and. Why it doesn't work? Insert. Ah, okay. Now it's now it's so kind of mess, but I need to pass my my test first, and then I can refactor it. Refactor it. And so the next move will be like store it into string string uh, last last modified last modified and and put it into 
into result. Now I just need to add. I can do actually do this in the line, but I want to be. I like to express to make my code readable. And then after this for loop, I return the result. Okay. I know it's kind of ugly now, but and I want to BFA BF oh, refactor rename it. So basic file attribute view view attributes attributes. B file attribute is BFA refactor rename item attribute is because it can be used for directories and for the files. So let's recapitulate what I'm actually doing here. I'm initializing my attribute list I'm making sure that my date format is in the given format and then I it then I go through the given list of my directories or files and for the each of this file I try to get the attributes and I'm interested in the last modified time attribute and let's just let's just look it, it up does it run does not does it not run I save it and then we make it better so now I run my test and it looks kind of fun. Let's just review how exactly what I'm exactly getting as a result. I know this is not now, but I don't know how it looks so to to string. Now I run my test and let's just look it up. Okay, so it looks cool. So the dates you which which you see, this is a uh, uh, dates for my directories. And the, let's just copy this. So I. I put my directories and for the given directories I get this kind of a result. And let me just go to my overview dear. Let me just give it uh, full if I always forget. Let me just quickly look it up. Uh, just I need to look it up uh, full time I don't need to so I need just to let's it's a grief maybe maybe team Uh, okay, so this is what I get when 
actually I don't need wait wait a second I'm puzzled I'm yeah I'm in Linux world in Linux it's kind of different so or wait wait a second let me just do it right say ls dir and look up these times for the given directory dir 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 and here I have I need to call my notepad and then just uh, look it up and you see clearly I think and I hope amount of lines is okay I just need to make it separate so one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven too much wait a second just need to recapitulate and clear Then, then just add here and one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I have more than I wish to get. So I have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ah, okay, so I have. Uh, this is interesting. So for one of the directories, uh, but the time are different. Let me let me just make sure that I am actually working with the right type of directories. And here. I just before I add to my list I put my sys out and here I write uh, I don't I need to I, I see at almost one hour so basically I need to check how I produce my result and I need to be sure that I my path is okay let me just insert here my path plus and then uh, last modified and run my test because I need to make sure that I'm doing the right stuff so It looks like this. Uh, how many? How much lines? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Okay. So ah, I know. I know. Because I have eleven items. Zero, zero should be counted from zero. So it's it's okay. And the time you see is when you compare the actual times I hope you can see this is all right one even to the minute and the same stuff I can expect when I get so I just need to write another test when I want to have so I just need to write my test testing last modified attribute for files and here I just need to put 
it's, it looks like almost the same uh, but in this case I need to get my file list mm, file list actual file list so get file list and put here to my Volca put actually file list and make sure you need to make sure that my assert not now works for the given modified uh, or wait a second last modified uh, result of directory last modified okay I need to rename it file so now I have my second test from which I can get my attribute so let me just run it and now I will get uh, the attributes for my files. So I have written one method which can give me results for the given folders, directories and the files. And if you compare, so it it passes. It passes through. Okay. So I have I have created this method, and now I will conclude this part. I can actually run run all, all of my tests right now run all, all of my tests here and you see it produces very nice output for the files for the given files and directories and yeah it's, this is it for this session in the next session i will start basically uh, I'm actually can do this right now. Wait a second. I, this me. Let me just try it out. And refactor extract method. And this would be like walking through. Actually walking. No, getting, getting, getting. Uh, last modified last time from for FS file system okay now it's look kind of pretty and let me just run all of my tests So I can walk through my directories, files, and that's it. So next move, next possible uh, actual, the next actual move should be uh, like I need to. So now I can get hold of a. There a list of the directories. Then I need to get the list of files to the given path, and then I can obtain the dates for the given directories and the same things uh, through for the 
updates for the files in the given directory. And pretty, pretty, it's all pretty. And it will work for, so think, think about like user click on disk and I am getting the contents of the disk in this root, in the given, in the given path. If user select one of the nodes in the given view, it will get only the contents of the given node. So let me just say thank you for the watching and till the next time. Bye bye.